Hello and welcome back to the Ruby and Raspberry Pi tutorials. Today we're going to start working on making graphic user interface applications. So let's get in, go into our Raspbian and we'll go ahead and make another folder specifically for this. We'll call this Ruby TK because that's what we'll be working with. <coughs> now before we, we begin we're going to go put up the TK docs. So Ruby TK <laughs> Excuse me. So TK, TK Docs, it might be a little bit of out of date for the Ruby interpreter that we're using, but it's still a great guide for all the TK resources. Now with Ruby TK, well with TK, it works with TCL, which is you know, TCL, Ruby, Perl, and Python. But we're going to be using Ruby because you know we're pirates and we like our pirate treasure. So with Ruby if you're wanting to make your own applications with uh well graphic applications, I would definitely recommend read through all of this. Again it's uh tkdocs.com and we want to make sure that we're using Ruby. If you want to use Perl or Python, it tells you how to do it too with those languages. So to begin, I'm going to open up our Ruby TK folder, make an empty file, and we're going to call this uh, first We'll call this first GUI, which, by the way, for those who don't know, GUI stands for Graphic User Interface. Yeah. So we now have our Ruby script ready to go. I'm going to open it up. Now, as long as you did the uh, Ruby installation from the very first introduction video into these lessons by doing the sudo app get install ruby full you will have the tk library well tk gem tk library installed with it in the core so yeah yeah we opened up so the first thing what we're going to do is we are going to put in our shebang usr env ruby and then after that what we're going to do is we're going to add we're going to require and pull the tk library into our script make our class we're going to call this we'll just call this gui for now now all we need to do to generate or to create what we want is to type in, we'll just use root dot tk root dot new. And in our brackets, title, my first Ruby GUI. <laughs> And roll and GUI dot new, and then we're going to call the TK dot main loop. Save this. Open in terminal. 
we're going to see how we're using the Linux command. We're, well, the, the Linux command shell. We're going to type in Ruby first GUI dot RB. Oh, what did that? Oh, <laughs> new. Run it again. Undefined. <laughs> really? Me and my typos. And there we go. We now have generated our application. That's how easy it is to do this. Uh, exit out, we do it again. Exit out. Do it again. So that's all you need to create a GUI application. But we don't have anything in our window. We don't we can't do anything except for make it we can resize it, that's about it. If I can get my mouse to work right, see we can resize it. And if you look we have my first Ruby GUI in the top in the status bar. So let's add some functionality to our newborn application. Let me add one opened up. <laughs> so back in our class of GUI, we can add we can even make resize it. And there's a couple of ways we can do this, but I like to use the geometry method. So how do we do this is we go we call our variable root equal root and then in our bra normal brackets we will type in in the parentheses geometry close our brackets equals and then in parentheses, parentheses again we're going to put in the number of pixels <coughs> excuse me the number of pixels that we want so we'll show you uh, 400 by 200 and then we can also add um, a plus and minus after this to show where we want our window to pop up if not then it'll just come up at, in a random spot but we're not going to worry about that right now we're just going to resize the window and we'll save run it again as you can see, our window has been resized. So add, let's add a little bit more to this. So going back and looking to the key, TK docs, we have room design and all that step-by-step -step walkthrough. We want our widgets. So we look at the widgets, geometry management, event handling, our basic widgets. We have frames, labels, we'll get into frames at a little later date. But let's add a label. Let's check out what a label is. So we can do it this way. Or we can make it a little bit more refined by type we'll say we'll call this one label. Make sure I'm notorious for reversing this. Label equals TK label dot new and in our brackets I'm going to type in text tell it to display text and this, this is my first label exit out save and run as you can see it still hasn't pulled up well why is this because we haven't associated our label with our root window. So how can we do this? In our brackets we can put our semicolon and type in pack. And it's been a minute since I've messed with TK so let's see if that did it. Yep. This is my first label. So now it shows what our label is. 
okay, well, how about a button? Because, you know, there's all sorts of buttons and functions that we can add into our application. So we can make a button equals tk button dot new. And again, text my first button. And then we're going to pack that. Anonymous name error. Oh, spelled it wrong. Run it again. And look, we now have a button. It doesn't do anything because we haven't programmed it to do anything, but we can generate a button. Uh, what else can we add to this? Here's the button. Button states. Uh, we can add a check button. Hmm? Equals TK. Yep. Check button dot new. Pack that. Save. And load the program. So now we have our first label, our first button, and we have a check button. That easy. That's how we can generate what we want. Now, next tutorial, we'll start implementing this more. We'll start getting into a uh, window design. So we can actually have, so as you can see, it, everything's just listed here. But we'll start implementing more functionality into this, and we'll start, we will work and make a graphic user interface for a, Git, a GitHub downloader. So we don't have to go into the terminal and then type in git clone and the link. All we have to do is copy and paste the download link into it, click a button, and it will open up a terminal and do all the work from there. So that would be our first graphic interface, or our first application using Ruby TK to show how we can build our own applications and tools with Ruby. So we're going to exit out all of this. So there's the first steps into working with TK. And, well, before we go, we still have a little bit of time. Ruby, just to show you what I mean about how this functions, how it, Ruby is cross-platform, we're going to type in the same exact code into our IRB on Windows and show you what happens. So require TK, true. A uh, class GUI. We're going to put root equals tk root dot new title Ruby tk on Windows. Exit out. Put in a label equals tk label.new text same process as on a Linux machine packet 
and we'll go ahead and just add a button. Button equals TK. Just to show you. You. I didn't do the geometry, so root tree equals by we'll go ahead and do four hundred. And if I oh, did I spell it wrong? No. Yeah, I didn't capitalize. Oh well, so it won't show the button. But we can still run the GUI.new and then TK.main loop. And if you look, okay, why didn't it? Oh, because of the error. Oh well. But as you can see, the same code produces the same exact results as we did on our Raspberry Pi. So that is one of the greatest things about Ruby. It would do the same thing on a Mac on a Macintosh computer. It would just it takes the graphics of the operating system that you're using, which is really cool. But I'll leave it there for now and the next tutorial we'll start coding and start working on our GitHub download application. Until then, happy coding!